So welcome to part two of Dota in depth last hitting with shamming. I've got a bunch more tips for you. So here we go. Um, so watch where everyone's hitting. Um, you want to manage the creeps health level. So you're getting all the hits. I oh, missed that one, but um, on both sides, right? So you want to watch your own creeps health level and manage that, and the enemy creeps health level and manage that too. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to push the lane a bit, and then I'll show you some uh, jungle pulls. Okay, so say the lanes push like that much, then it's really beneficial to deny the enemy your own their own your creeps with the jungle creep. So at twenty three seconds or fifty three seconds you can pull the lane from this jungle camp here. So I s when I see people jungle, I see them miss the last hits on the jungle creeps, so be really don't worry about denying your own creeps here. They're basically gonna be denied anyways. But just keep a close eye. See, this guy's about to die. So I got that one. And then I can deny this guy. And then see how I missed that one? Because I was denying that one. So um, don't worry about denying, honestly, when you're doing that. Because that might just cost you more last hits. And it's more important to get the last hits. Um, but say, for example, your enemy really is pushing the lane. We'll get rid of some of these guys, maybe, if we can. Um, let's help deny it. So say if your enemy is pushing the lane really hard and you're last hitting under tower, that's actually a good thing because you're getting free hits under tower. And so if you're losing your lane, it's okay to let them push it back all the way back to your tower uh, maybe your tower takes a tiny bit of damage. Uh, it's not good if you ha constantly having a situation like this where there's like four or five creeps hitting your tower. But you can always uh, aggro the creeps and get them away from the tower and get them attacking you. And then the other thing to be cognizant of is um, your lane partner and who has priority. Because some, especially in like low level MMR, you might get like Juggernaut and Phantom Assassin or like two carries in the s same lane and then you're not sure who should be last hitting so you should communicate with your lane partner to make sure who gets priority in the last hitting otherwise you're both going to be going for the same last hits and then it like makes it difficult to uh, get last hits because I hit it early and then you hit it late or and then we both miss or like some of the most tricky situations is when both people in lane are going for the last hits and then nobody gets them so okay here's another example 51 52 53 with these guys you should hit them a bit earlier uh, because they are ranged uh, because both lanes are of creeps are here they're not going to aggro so that didn't really work but that gives you an idea of the timing it was the right timing uh, if you're going back here to pull this camp it's a bit earlier so that's, oops, I missed that. It's not going to be early enough, I don't think. So probably around 13 seconds there. Um, we'll try to catch the next creep wave. Another tip is like, for last hitting effectively, is make sure you get like the items that allow you to stay in lane. So get your tangos, get your branches, uh, get your salves. I don't get salves as much as uh, tangos because tangos are a lot better value. Okay, so that's 45. Let's see if that works. <clears throat> so just, you can open a practice lobby, see how that did work perfectly. Um, and just test the timings on the various jungle pull camps. Especially if you're playing support heroes a lot. Uh, this is a way that you can get some experience. Just make sure that you're not messing up, like, the carry. If there's a carry here playing, like, say... I. Say I'm playing Lena as a support and I'm just pulling some camps. If these guys being out of lane is screwing up the carry, then I shouldn't be doing that. 
So just be aware of how your pulls are affecting uh, your allies as well. And then another thing that will help you with your last hits is make sure when you're drafting your heroes that uh, you're paying attention to what your enemy is drafting. That's really, really important. Like if you're not paying attention to that, you'll probably lose anyways. Uh, especially like say your team has f five melee heroes. Often that'll be like really hard in the laning stage, especially at like lower levels um, because your opponents won't be aggressive enough and then you'll be just getting harassed constantly by the range attacks. So be aware of what hero you're drafting, what works in good combinations, how you're building your lanes. Just think about all those things because it does matter for last hitting. And then sometimes like, okay, I probably wouldn't do it on Lena, but like maybe a hero like Anti-Mage or Axe or somebody that always buys Ring of Health, as I buy a Ring of Health uh, before I turned into a Perseverance because I had the mana. Um, but I buy it before I buy my boots uh, because it's if I'm getting harassed a lot or taking a lot of damage having trouble staying in the lane uh, because that will give me uh, basically a permanent tango so that's uh, one thing to consider as well just to help you stay in lane and see how I use my ability to get the last hits like there was two there and I used the dragon slave and that guaranteed the last hit so that's something you can do when your hero like Lena is use your spells to your advantage so it's really hard for your opponent to deny you and it's a lot easier for you to get your last hits and it's also like that spell is a good way to harass your enemy and make it give them a harder time in lane and make it more difficult for them to get last hits so think really carefully about your starting items think about like what you need to be successful in lane and not leave the lane. Uh, branches are really good. If you're facing against a Bristleback, you'll want to get a Magic Wand or Magic Stick as soon as possible because he spams his uh, quills, and every time he spams his quills, that gives you free health and mana. So be aware of things like that. And then, like, you don't want to be hitting uphill like this because, see, you miss. 25% of your shots miss. See, there's two misses in a out of three shots but um, if you're just going just for last hits then that means that 25% uh, of your last hits will miss and if you're contesting with an enemy hero you'll definitely notice that that becomes a problem for you and then another thing to consider is like if you're playing a support hero it probably is not very common in uh, mid lane but if you can zone out the enemy hero which means that you're between the creep waves that are fighting and them and then you're making them so far away that they're not getting last hits denies or experience because there's a certain experience range for how like when they're a certain distance away they don't get experience so let's see here let's see if i get experience for that creep when it dies so i think i did get experience so it's a pretty big range um but if you can keep your enemies out of that range, then it's just going to be a huge advantage for you because it really slows them down.